So we're back at it again out here, burning more, clearing more. It's hard to imagine until things get real and we can see a foundation going in, but I see it in my head. And the house will be right here staring at me. And behind it will be that yard. And it's just so exciting to see it all kind of starting to take shape. Right, guys first thing I'm gonna say is this clearing the land thing and burning all the brush takes a lot longer than we expected it to um, we wound up if you can see there we have two fire pits burning trying to get it done a little quicker this whole side over here I mean it's pretty much done the only thing left are stumps, and there might be some brush mixed in with the stumps, but it's trapped underneath. So until the stumps are moved, we can't get to the little bit that's left there. But everything else on that side is done. So we've got both pits burning today. We've got this little pile over here next to Eric is almost gone. That shouldn't take us too much longer with the two pits. And then we still have a lot left, guys, because over here, see if I can give you a good idea. I mean, we've got this big pile. That's quite a few more hours worth of work to get all that. But we're making progress. It's just a lot harder and a lot longer than we thought it would take. So finally, we're done burning. This is the little bit left over here. It just needs to be raked, but you can actually see straight through to our driveway and out to the road, which is pretty awesome. We're just raking onto the tarp so that we can drag it to where our compost pile will be. And Hannah's over there playing with frogs. Can you see your friend in the new habitat you made it. Can you show me him? Mm -hmm. Master Frogger. Right there. Right here. Hi, little itty bitty frogger. He's so little. Mm -hmm. See? We're new buddy now. Yep. Oh, <laughs> let's see what they do together. It's a science experiment. Go oh, hang out. Come on, let me get you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Jumped over the other one. It's literally like <laughs> weed frog. Like, what? What are we working on today? We are working on our chicken coop. Our chicken coop?
Oh, we just missed him. Wait, look. Right, 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 one more, one more, please. That one. That one. Yeah, that is the one. one. Let me see. I was right. What's it called? Red-bellied woodpecker. That's the boy, yep. Good morning. All right, so we have a new project that we are starting today, and it is chickens. So I say start it today, but we've actually already been taking a couple steps to get to today. Behind me, you'll see. Eric already cleared this whole area right out in here where we're going to put our chicken coop and we're right outside of our door, not too far away. Um, we've done a bunch of research and reviews on how far to put it away. We've talked about just about every place on our property and where we think it should go. This is what we think will work best for us and enable us to protect the chickens a little bit more too, since we are out here in the mountains and the woods and we know that we have predators. So we wanted it a little closer than we originally thought for that reason. So this is where it's gonna go. Started looking, you know, it's almost September, so there's not many chicks left anywhere. Um, I started looking every resource I was given online, farms, places that ship, places we can get to within a couple hours. And I landed back at where I should have started, <laughs> which is um, this wonderful breeder in New Jersey in Galloway who gave us our beautiful mini Rex bunny, Bo, who's litter trained and he basically has the run of the shed and we just love him like a dog. Um, and she is just super clean, professional, vaccinates the chickens when they're young. I trust her so much um, with how well she runs her business. And I messaged her. She had six, which was exactly what we were looking for. Five chocolate, one black, exactly what I'm looking for. And they're already egg layers. That, I mean, it's like absolutely perfect so she's going away we have to get there this weekend so today is Friday we're leaving tomorrow to go pick up the chickens and bring them back on Sunday so um, put a little bit more of a time crunch on us to get this chicken coop fully built so that we're not living with chickens um, sorry the hummingbirds are distracting me they always come out oh they're so cute um, but that way we're not living with chickens in the shed or the RV while we're trying to build this coop. That one literally came right by my, by my camera. Let me see if I can catch them for you guys. That was cool, right? They're still putting on a show for me, but um, I'll try not to be as distracted as we continue to talk. Anyway, so we are going to pick up our chickens tomorrow. We're so excited to get them. So we have to get this build started today. So that's why I'm up so early out here. It's about 730. I'm hoping Eric is starting to, to stir and wake up in the camper so he can get started helping me. got herself the electric chainsaw because we got a recommendation from a uh, local 
resident that it works just as good and this only cost us what like 70 bucks where they're normally about two to four hundred dollars for the gas ones <clears throat> and uh, I just started using the gas chainsaw and the gas line rotted out and basically ripped up um, and I just don't have the skill set or the time right now to try to put it together and uh, so moral of the story is we end up getting this all it needs is bar oil instead of gas um, so we're gonna give it a shot and hope that we get our money's worth out of it Good morning. So just to update you on our progress, this is where we're at. We still have a decent amount of work left to do, but the basic frame is all there. We're gonna pop the roof on next and then finish out the fencing. Yeah, but you know, we got a lot done so far. done our chicken coop the only thing left to do is a little extra dirt around the outside maybe some rocks we'll continue to add things into the chicken coop stain it we're gonna add more nesting boxes a little ladder to get to the second level I also have a great rope ladder it'll be great purchase for them to play on so there'll be there'll definitely be more that we'll add but for now we're ready to get these chickens here and put in so it's saturday we're gonna get cleaned up and drive to jersey stay overnight out there and bring our chickens home tomorrow and then what i just did is with this little coop i love it so much it's just the run was kind of getting in the way and we already have it in a run so that has two nesting boxes in it so it's a perfect spot for them to get started until we you know build additional nesting boxes so when we get back tomorrow we'll add down the uh, um, the bedding and things that are needed inside the nesting box and add a few more things in but they'll be ready to stay in here tomorrow Good morning, girls. Our chickens are here. We just got back from New Jersey last night. We're gonna do a little more fortifying of the chicken coop on the outside today, just to be extra sure, but they all made it perfectly fine through the night. Right, girls? Hi, little one. So far they're getting pretty comfy here and really enjoying it so we're excited to have our girls home. 
None of them have names yet. We'll see how that goes. We're so excited to have our girls here.